Hi, I'm Lee Vickery, Brookshire's food and family contributor, and today we're cooking recipes from our February issue of Celebrate Cooking. One dish we're making is sauteed button mushrooms with bacon and pearl onions. It's a great accompaniment to maybe a steak dinner for your Valentine's night. It's easy and delicious, so join us in the kitchen today as we make sauteed button mushrooms with bacon and pearl onions. First step is I've chopped up four pieces of bacon and I'm adding, adding them to a hot skillet. We're going to let that cook about a minute and then I'm going to add my onions and sugar. This is just called rendering the bacon where you kind of let a little bit of the fat come out of it while it sautés. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through right now, it's really just about a minute. And then we'll add, when we add the onions and the sugar, it cooks for eight minutes and the bacon gets brown and crispy. So we're going to go ahead and let this cook just a little bit. Like I said, it was four slices that I, I you know, chopped into about half inch pieces. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add our onions. This is a half a pound of pearl onions. These are frozen, but you can also use fresh either way. We'll add that. And then just one teaspoon of sugar. And let this cook for about eight minutes. Our bacon and onions have cooked down and the bacon is beginning to brown, so I'm removing it to a bowl here on the side with a slotted spoon. And then I'm going to add, here we go, add the um, half a cup of red wine and it will reduce down in the skillet. Be sure to scrape up the bottom as you go because I get those little brown bits out of the bottom that are so flavorful. Ready? Here we go. And we'll just for about 30 seconds cook this down and then add it to our bacon and our onions. And now we add our mushrooms back to the skillet. I've removed the bacon and the onions, remember. So we're gonna put these in and we're gonna let them cook for five minutes before we start adding the butter, the delicious butter that helps them brown. So we just put them in the skillet and uh, stir them occasionally for five minutes. After they've cooked five minutes, we're gonna um, increase the heat to high and let them cook eight minutes more. These end up being really brown mushrooms, a great little side dish for a steak, like I said earlier. So don't be afraid of all this cooking time. You're thinking 13 minutes, but it's really not that long of a time because the mushrooms will start to brown and release their juices and they're delicious. So, so turn up your heat to high and cook eight minutes more. Our mushrooms have continued to cook and they're starting to brown. Now it's time to add the one tablespoon of unsalted butter. We're going to stir around occasionally for a few minutes more, just kind of let the butter melt, let, them gl let the butter glaze the mushrooms, and then we'll add our bacon and onions back to the mixture. Our butter is melted. We're ready, like I said, to add the onions and the bacon back to the mushrooms. And all we're doing now is just about a couple of minutes of combining all the flavors together. This is beautiful. It smells delicious in this house. We're going to uh, check for some salt and pepper if we need it. And then garnish with our parsley, our chopped fresh parsley, and you're ready to go. I wish you were here in the kitchen with us today. It smells so good. These sauteed button mushrooms with bacon and pearl onions are perfect for your Valentine's dinner. We have a great ribeye recipe in this issue of Celebrate Cooking as well. It's the February issue. You can pick it up for free in all of our Brookshire stores. You can also find this recipe and tons more on our website at brookshires.com.